Hi, nieces and nephews. Welcome back to Auntie Nell's Kitchen. To my new nieces and nephews, welcome to the family. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, cousins, let's play nice, okay? Now, let's get some housekeeping out the way. I want to thank you all for your love and support to my channel. I really appreciate everything that you do. The kind words, I really take them to heart, and I appreciate them, okay? And if you do auntie a favor and hit that like button when you come in or before you leave, I <clears throat> really appreciate it. Okay, today we are going to be making chicken alfredo, but not the chicken. I don't put the chicken in the um, noodles. I'm, I'm using a special little pasta that I picked up. Uh, I don't even know the name of it. I can't pronounce the, what kind of pasta this is. Um, my Tasse Papardelli. I don't know. Okay. All I know, I thought it was neat. I got it at uh, uh, my World. What is this? Cause World Plus? I don't know. But anyway, um, so I thought that that would be really nice to go with the chicken Alfredo. So we're going to do a flip and swip. I'm going to get started. Okay. Okay. I have six chicken breasts. It's, it was three large chicken breasts and I sliced them in half. And uh, I took my frustration out on them, beat them a little bit, okay? And I'm going to spritz them with some olive oil so I can get make sure my herbs stay on. And I did dry them, washed them very well with some lemon juice and baking soda. So I'm going to spray them with some olive oil. This is light olive oil. And I'm going to uh, wet them good because I want to make sure my herbs stay on here. And I'm going to take a little oregano. This, oh, this is my basil. And this is my oregano. Add some black pepper. Pe -pe -pe. And a little bit of salt. And I'm going to get these all nice so they can get to know each other. Now you can add some thyme in here. You can add rosemary in here on your chicken. You know, you can add any kind of herbs that you would like. Okay, I'm going to set this to the side and I'll be back. Now, I'm going to be heating my oil up, and I want this on high. This thing just shoots off, and I'm going to turn this on three, and I'm going to be using the fried olive oil because it can stay in high heat. And just let this get hot. Ooh, a little recycling. Housekeeping still. Now I'll be back. I'm going to lay my chicken down. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to lay my burden down. And I have my thermometer already. You know, so make sure my chicken is 165 internal temperatures. to get them all in. I will see. See if I can make room for one more baby. And I did. Woohoo! Turn this down on low and let this cook and I'll flip it in about six minutes. I want to make sure it's completely done. On the cooked chicken, you will have the worst food poisoning. 
Okay, I'm going to flip and I'll change spatulas because this on this side is raw and I'm touching this uh, touching this side with raw. And I'm still gonna flip again. I'm still gonna flip it again. Because I do want internal temperatures to be 165. A little housekeeping. Be back. Because see that has a spot that's not cooked. And you can see around the sides, it's raw. As they look done, but they're not. My temperature is coming up 155. But this one, see, this is 167. I need that 166. These aren't coming up at one. They're coming at 155, 157. So I need that 165. That let me know. I go by the internal temperature, whether they're done or not. No, look at our chicken. Mm, it smells delicious. Nice and done. Temperature 165, 171. So now we are going to make our Alfredo sauce, okay? Okay, we're going to need one and a half cups of Parmesan cheese. I suggest you shred it yourself. This is freshly um, grated, shredded. Parmesan, I just have the big wedge and I just shredded one and a half cups and I did it fourth cup for extra on the side and I'll show you what I do with that. Um, four tablespoons of butter, which will go in here and I'll get, get that melted. One and a half cups of heavy cream and some black pepper. You can put it to your taste and if you want to add salt, that's up to you. I'm not adding salt. And I get this butter melted down and we'll be back. I have my butter all melted. I'm gonna pour in my cream. And bring that to a simmer. After I blend in my butter. Okay, once it starts simmer, simmering around the edge, it's the little bubbies start forming. Pour the cheese in a little at a time and stir. You have to stir, whisk, whatever you need to do. You, you can't leave it. You have to uh, keep stirring. It's a very, what's, oh, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my black pepper. Alfredo is just not Alfredo without black pepper. I, I won't stop staring. Just have to keep going. That's all my cheese. And I will just continue to stir. I see no little shreds of cheese. Now the pre-shredded cheese, um, it has that coating on it, that powder coating on it. It doesn't do well in Alfredo sauce. Freshly, sh freshly grated shredded cheese does better in Alfredo sauce. I mean, any kind of cheese sauce, it's, it's best if you grate it yourself. And here's our Alfredo. 
Let me get my spoon to a tasty tasty. How you do tasty tasty? Not much. Perfect. Mm, that's good. That's good. Okay, let's plate us up some Alfredo. And I had put a bag of steamed broccoli in the microwave, so we're going to plate us up something. There you go. Now, I'm sure you tell you what I did. I didn't mix the sauce inside the pasta. I take it out. Because I picked, I didn't, what I did, I did put the broccoli inside of the pasta. But what I did, I put the pasta on and then I got a, I scooped some sauce out and poured it over the pasta. Then I laid the chicken breast down and I garnished it with a little fresh Parmesan and added a breadstick. And here it is. And those are, these are the noodles that I couldn't pronounce, still can't pronounce. I just know they say imported from Italy. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching my video on how I make my chicken Alfredo. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and I hope you try it this way. I really hope you try the recipe. I think you'll really enjoy it. It's a different take on chicken Alfredo instead of you mixing everything together. This is a different take on it. Uh, you know, auntie has to be extra. So, you know, um, to the next upload, go be you. But be great being you. Tight hugs and kisses to all of you. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.